Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Thursday, March the 10th. My name is Barry Anderson. I am the moderator of our trading room and as usual I'm watching a trade. <laughs> uh, it's not working out as well as I wanted it to. We'll have to see. I'll bring it in the screen just in a second. Um, yeah, so I'm the moderator of our trading room. This is the address to get into the room. Um, I'm live and I share my screen and I'm live from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. I'm live on the mic. And if you want to take out a subscription to Trade Ideas, you can use this link. And uh, especially taking this out by using this link really helps the room. It is a free room. Yes, sir. You don't have to have a membership to Trade Ideas in order to get into the room. So as I say, it's a free room. So, But it does help to support the room by taking the subscription through here. Okay. Now, uh, this is the one I'm in, and I jokingly said, like yesterday, and if you watched the video yesterday, you know, I was doing the Buffalo, I was doing my video as I was in Buffalo, Buffalo um, Food Groups or something like that, BUFF, and it popped up. Unfortunately, this was not doing the same thing. I'm in at uh, 808, sorry, 809, and, um, you know, it was actually, it had moved up to here, but it is now at 801, so let's make sure that's right. Sometimes these, uh, yeah. Okay, so I have to keep an eye on this one. Um, the other one I am still in as a short from 11.82 is this one. Uh, you know, I've got a stop, very, very close to my stop out. But uh, this was, as I called it in the room, it's kind of a boredom trade. This was uh, come from the, came from the GBIs. You can see right here, uh, 11.89. Uh, make sure if I show you what it means on a five-minute chart. So right there, you see how the trend is down, you get a little green candle, and then the trend continues down. Now, I was a little late on this one, uh, but you know, most of these have very tight stops, can't get too hurt, they don't usually uh, like zoom up way past your, your potential stop, they're usually pretty steady trades, you know, they just kind of drift down or drift up, depending on what... Uh, um, side you're looking or, or trend, the trend you're looking for generally not too whippy so not as 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 exciting as this one which of course if you were in the room this morning this basically made my day and as I jokingly said you know in the old days if I weren't doing this all day long um, I'd be I would have packed it in in the first 15 minutes so what happened on this one MXPT so Dan Merkin, our CEO, and big kudos to him because he popped into the room and he said, hey guys, watch this one. Now, admittedly, the volume at the time was about 30,000 shares. So I looked at that and I thought, hmm, 30,000 shares. However, it was also an earnings play. So I felt, okay, um, you know, it could have some activity because it is an earnings play, but what really sold me on it was the, um, if you look at the time frame, look at the daily chart. Do it, get this out just a little bit more, and you're going to see what I mean, hopefully. How beautiful is that? Now, here's, here's you know, the big drop, probably on earnings or some news. I don't really don't know anything about this company. And, you know, did nothing for months, months. Then all of a sudden, today's the day, and it's earnings. So it popped through two, and I looked at this void. So I had a lot of things going for it when Dan uh, mentioned it in the room. So, again, I... Uh, I'm one who doesn't like, you know, I, I like to see a, a little more uh, in the volume side of it. But I thought, you know what, this is, um, it's over two. It looked like it was holding two. The spread was a little bit bad for, for, a, for a $2 stock. But anyway, the bottom line is I got in at 208 and I was out. I didn't, you know, I missed the top top, but I was out at 228 and 225. I had a few shares of it. So basically that made my day. And there was, you know, again, as I was saying, in the past, I would probably just quit and, and uh, head to the golf course. Ah, now YRD is starting to pop back up. Again, I'm in at 809, so to see what happens. Again, this is the one I'm in, and the other one I'm in is still, you know, not really doing anything. Um, I had other trades. Um, let's see, anything interesting? Not really. The only one that uh, a little ticked off about is the RND, RNG trade. The RNG trade came from 
the options, the option window, and unfortunately I can't show you where it happened. I had to do a reboot of Trade Ideas. So, you know, generally, generally what, what this one does is it'll show me uh, the first time that any, any stock was triggered, and I, I, I don't have it here uh, because I had to do a reboot. I could do a history, but, you know, then I'm going to get a long list of stocks and all the multiple symbols. Uh, the same symbol will trigger all over the place. So at any rate, you just have to trust me when I say that uh, this broke down. Uh, probably the alert was probably right around here. Now, interestingly enough, a, a poster asked me about this when it was sitting here. So you see this little pull up, but they asked me when it was sitting about right there, what I thought about it. And I, you know, I really didn't think too much about it, to be honest. And then real pointed out, well, you know what? The fact that this had a failed pull up might make this a good short. Um, I did end up finally taking this short at 1483 and, uh, I got out. So 1483 right around here and I got out at 50, uh, 1454 right here on this pop up. Now, why I'm a little ticked off is normally what I do is I I only I sold everything here. Um and you know, normally I sell, you know, a third a half and I didn't and now look what happened. It it uh, collapsed after that and I should still be in this trade, but uh um you know, I'm not going to cry over spilt spil milk, I guess, but um so that's really about it. I mean, it's kind of turning into those days now in which uh, the early morning trades are the ones you've got to get in. I, I don't usually like trading the first 15 minutes. Uh, made an exception, I guess. I can't remember. Uh, I don't to check my uh, see my my brokerage. What time did I get into? What second the time? Yeah, I mean, it, that's unusual for me. It was 9.33, so three minutes after the market opened is when I got in. And I say, usually I like to take it easy for the first 15. Not take it easy, uh, but I, I like the market to, to sort of settle down a little bit to, to get a direction. Too many times I've been in, you know, I used to take early trades, uh, looks good, and then because the market can get so whippy, you get whipped out. And then when it comes back, you sort of get a little gun shy on that same stock. So anyway... Um, that was uh, unique for me to take a trade that early, but it sure worked out well. And big kudos to our CEO, Dan Merkin, for just coming in the room and saying, hey, guys, look at this one. All right. Let's see if there's anything else maybe to watch going forward. Tomorrow. Not really. Okay, I'm just looking at uh, YRD. Still doing not too badly. And the CBL. That still may give me, maybe this is the failed pull-up that I'm looking for. Again, I don't look at these as being super dynamic trades. Uh, you can see right here that on a lot of these, I mean, the, 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 the uh, stops are very, very tight. And, and the, the reason why it looks like that on CBL, say, if I'd got in at 1189 and then 1191 is a stop. So if I take a look at the time frame, five-minute time frame, and... So it's right there. So really what's happening is, again, here's the downtrend. So it has to have three candles down in a row. You know, this is kind of choppy, all right? But three candles down, and then it's looking for this pattern right there. Red, green, red. But we get the alert as this red candle is forming. We are now, we get the alert right here. And that's why it says at 1189, right? Back this up. That's why the alert comes at 1189. And it puts the stop at the top of that candle. Now, you don't have to obey this stop. I mean, it's 1191. It's pretty tight. But, you know, I mean, even if you put it at the top of the red candle, 1192, or even somewhere, you know, underneath, uh, you don't want to see it go through 12. That's what I really like about these. And now this is actually starting to work okay. Uh, I wish I'd got in at 1189, but uh, nonetheless, it's starting to work okay now. Um, but that's what that's what these are all about, though. You can uh, you can get into some of these with very very tight stops, and you know what? If it goes against you immediately, then you get out, and then it could it could work again uh, a couple of minutes later. So you know, I that that's the sort of trade that I like. Um, you know, again, they're not super dynamic. Usually, you're not going to find like the 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 moves like MXPT had this morning. That uh, you know, a tre tremendous. Um, tremendous rise in, in terms of percentage, but some of them are just awfully steady. And if that's your style, you know, that's, if that's the, your, uh, your, your emotional makeup is that you like steady trades that are not too emotional. 
And you know, these these patterns are excellent for that. All right, just keep an eye on this one. Uh, the YRD is still kind of flipping around. It's not, uh, I hate these tails, uh, especially this topping tail. You know, well, now it pops up again. So anyway, I'm gonna quit talking about it and I'll get back to the light, to the room and uh, see what's happening. So anyway, thanks a lot for listening. Again, if you uh, live, free trading room, um, and you know, I share my screen live in the mic between nine and four. And if you want to take out a subscription to trade ideas, please use this link it really helps to support the room. Okay. Hopefully we'll see you in our trading room tomorrow. Bye-bye.